Hi, Tracy here with BibleJournalingMinistries.com and today I'm going to show you how to use the HP Sprocket printer to make little 2x3 pictures that you can put in your Bible for Bible journaling. So uh, the HP Sprocket printer is super cute. If you don't have one of these printers but you have one of those Fuji Instamax or instant cameras that will, will also work as well. But I really like the HP Sprocket because you can change the pictures on your phone and print them out exactly how you want them, not just as they happen in the moment. So um, to open up the HP Sprocket, you just push a little bit forward and then you open it up and then you can load the zinc paper. So zinc stands for zero ink. Okay. Whenever you're loading the paper, you are going to want to get the HP paper so that you you have the blue card that comes inside. So every one of these packs there's like a blue registration card. And that card tells the machine that you're using the HP paper. Because it wants you know obviously they want to make money off of their their paper. So you it's called a, a smart sheet and you just place this, it'll tell you face down so that the machine can recognize it. You put it in there and then you load your paper. Okay? Now, when this is done, you are going to want to keep that blue sheet of paper just in case you decide to use an off-brand like Polaroid, like this brand here. So, this will work only if you use the right, the blue card. So when you're done loading the paper, you just have to press it down the right spot and then slide it back forward. Okay? It's super easy. Now, to uncharge it, it comes with a USB cord and you just plug it in there and you can plug it into the wall uh, using a USB adapter. Okay? And then to turn it on, you, on the side, you just press the button and the light should come on. If it's not dead, it will come on. There it is. You can see that white light start to blink. Okay, so now it's going to try to find the device. So, the device I'm using is an iPhone. And it basically just gave me a message, although you didn't see it, that it wanted to connect with my phone. So I clicked the Sprocket app to get the app to open. And now I can get a photo from Instagram, from Facebook, um, also from photos in my camera, and or I could take a picture. Um, I want to just use my photos. And I will take a picture. I will use the one of my dog, Chunk. Because Chunk just got a haircut. <laughs> He's so cute. So, um, you can see that the screen button here, where it's light green, it means that it's connected to the sprocket. Now, if I, you haven't connected your sprocket yet, you're going to have to do that in your settings panel. And you just search for Bluetooth. Under Bluetooth, you just go ahead and find the sprocket. So, if you... If you select edit on this picture, come on, there we go. Now I can put a frame around Chunk. And maybe I want to give him the cute Polaroid frame. You can also give him any frame like this one with the dots. And there's a purple one. And there's a blue one, and then there's a white shaggy line one. And they're, they're always, they seem to be updating these with different kinds, so the choice is yours as to what you want. I'm going to go back to the Polaroid one, because I like that one. Okay? So once you're done selecting that one, you just hit the check mark, and then you can add some words. So by clicking the A, and I'm just going to say chunk, got... a new hairdo. Mm. 
Okay. And then I'll usually put the date. So this was March. Um, and you can put the date, but I'm going to just do 2017. Oops, that says 3017. 2017. I'm going to hit the check mark for return. That means I'm happy with it. But now I have to figure out where I'm going to put that, because I can drag this wherever I want. But if I drag it down here, it's going to be white. I won't be able to see it, so I need to change the color. To change the color, I click this button here. And I get to choose the palette that I want. So, um, I'm thinking black. Oh, that was for the background. I picked the wrong one. Let's go back with um, X to X out. I should have selected the middle one to get the right color. So I want black. And I'm going to do the check mark. That says I'm done. And I'm going to pull it down here so you can see the words. And then what I'll do is I'll take both my fingers to kind of make it larger. And if you want to drag it, the square a little bit to make it go across the edge and to center it, you just drag it. The next thing I want to do is add a cute little sticker. So let's go ahead and do that. Maybe we'll add, you could add a hat. Wouldn't that be cute? If I can't turn that hat a little bit. It doesn't look like I can. There we go. So to turn it, you just um, have your finger at the top corner and the bottom corner. And that allows you kind of to turn it and then place it where you want. Isn't that cute? Move it up a little bit, maybe towards the back. What do you think? Maybe bigger? Just we'll make it a little bit bigger. So it looks like he's really wearing the hat. Oh, so cute. Okay. And then let's add one more sticker. Maybe. these hearts. And I'll just twirl them and put them in the corner. Okay. And then we'll call that done. Alright. And that's what's real fun about this app is you can just do anything. So now it's going to export the image and I'm going to press this button to print it. You can save it to your phone by pressing the other button and the other one that, or the arrow is that's pointing up. You can actually um, uh, text that to somebody. So I don't know if you hear but the sprocket is now working. Let's watch it go. So the first thing that's going to come out is that blue piece of paper. You don't have to have the blue piece of paper in there all the time. Um, I, I believe it's right when you load the, the first batch of paper, but you do need to have it. I've actually loaded paper on top of paper and not changed the blue one out yet, so to each his own, but definitely keep that blue piece because you're going to need this, especially if you're using any other paper. So it just printed out nothing so far. <laughs> so let's give it a little go to see what, what it comes out as. All right. So what's really, really awesome about this particular paper, especially as it relates um, to Bible journaling, is that this paper is sticky back. So it is a, it actually comes out as a photo sticker that you can use in your Bible. And guess what? This particular one is two by three and Bible margins are two inches. So if I were to take my Bible and show you where this might fit, you would be able to place it right there at the edge and still have some space. There we go. So you would be able to get right in there two inches. Okay? So what a great, great fun thing to do to add to your Bible, to add pictures of, of the people that you love um, as you're reading verses, family verses, or verses about animals. You can add your pets in there. 
um, and just kind of create a scrapbook out of your Bible. And we'll have lots of videos coming soon on scrapbooking in your Bible. Um, but this is just a basic one that shows you how to use the tool. And I just want to show you that, you know, this is definitely a really, really sticky. So when you adhere this, you're going to have to be super careful um, about not wrinkling the page as you do that. But that's for another video. I just wanted to show you today that this HP sprocket printer is amazing and awesome and super fun, especially for photo booths and awesome and fun to use in your Bible. So I hope this video tutorial was fun and awesome. And if it was, give us a thumbs up and share Bible Journal Ministries with your friends. And join us in our Facebook group too. We'd love to see what you're coming up with in your Bible journaling journey. Thanks so much guys and have a great day and bye-bye.